dog Zeus live if you would call it living in the back roads of Pompeii? They didn't really live there, they just slept there. They lived anywhere. Pompeii was one of the merriest of the old Latin towns, but although Tito was never an unhappy boy, he was not exactly a married one. Last week, the Caesar visited the town. His chariot had passed right in front of him. Fireworks were blasting and people were cheering. After all, the Caesar only visited once a year. Unfortunately, Tito did not get to see any of it. He was blind. He had been blind from birth. He was known to everyone in the poorer quarters, but no one could tell where he came from. And Zeus was another mystery. As long as people could remember seeing Tito, about 12 or 13 years ago, they had seen Zeus with him. Zeus never left his side. She was not only a dog, but a nurse, pillow, playmate, mother and father to Tito. Did I say Zeus never left her master? Perhaps I better say comrade, for if it was anyone who was the master, it was Zeus. I was wrong. Zeus did trust Tito alone exactly three times a day. It was a fixed routine, a custom understood between boy and dog since the beginning of their friendship. And the way it worked was this. Early in the morning, short after dawn, while Tito was still dreaming, Zeus would disappear. When Tito awoke, Zeus would be sitting quietly at his side, her ears upright, her tail tapping the ground, and a fresh baked bread, more like a round roll, at her feet. Tito would stretch himself, Zeus would yawn, and they would breakfast. At noon, wherever Tito and Zeus were, Zeus would signal for them to return to their sleeping space. Zeus would disappear again and return with more food. He would often bring sugar-sprinkled raisin cakes, the one Tito loved so much. He got them at the bakery, right next to the marine gate. The same thing happened at supper time except it was harder to snatch food because more people were out in the streets. Besides, a heavy supper made Tito restless and Zeus stodgy, and it was the business of the dog to sleep lightly with one ear open and muscles ready for action. But whether there was much or little, hot or cold, fresh or dry, food was always there. There was plenty of everything in Pompeii, if you knew where to find it, and if you had a dog like Zeus. Hey, you guys want to go play footsteps? Oh, maybe yeah. at the beach. Yeah. Hope that blind kid doesn't show up. <laughs> that would be a pity. As I said before, Tito was not the merriest boy in Pompeii. He could not play games with the other children. Games like Hair and Hounds, and I Spy, and Ball Against the Building, and Fall Your Master, and Footsteps. All of the children teased Tito about being blind. Can I play? You couldn't possibly play Footsteps with us. You wouldn't be able to see where the footsteps were. Go play fetch with your dog. Yeah, what he says. That is, all the children tease Tito, except one, named Flavia. Oh, shut up, you blockheads. I'm sorry about oh. this. My name is Flavia, and I'll play a game with you if you like. You're the blockhead. <laughs> we don't need them. Let's play foot yeah. footsteps. Footsteps. Woo! <laughs> sorry for himself about being blind, although he was quite happy to meet Flavia. At last he had a human friend, but Tito could smell and hear things that everyone else, including Flavia, never even noticed. Tito recalled walking towards the shore, passing by the great chef, Mr. Panza, and the cuisine was simmering. He could smell every food, the three kinds of bread, the roast pigling, the stuffed goose, the bear stew, and even the pig pie. Oh, the bread, the, the needing a little bit more oregano, and uh, you've got to care for the bread and love, and you want it all the flavor, and all more, and you pick it in this beautiful love. I'd like to thank you for standing up for me today. It's not my fault that I'm blind. Those cold-blooded people shouldn't blame me for that, or for the fact that I'm a homeless orphan. They don't understand. It's okay with me that you're an orphan. I am too. Really? I see you have a dog. Oh yes. Her name is Zeus, because she's a god to me. I've lived with her all my life, and she takes good care of me. Oh, uh, what's your name again? It's Flavia. And you? The name's Tito. So what's it like to be blind, Tito? Well, it's good in ways. Like you can intensely smell things that other people can't. Like what? Well, like earlier today, I can always smell what Mr. Panza is cooking. But I'm sure you can smell what I'm smelling right now. 
Why is the air so stuffy today? It's an unusual smell to me. You don't know. The Simeus's cloud has enlarged. I think that we are in great danger, but people on the street think otherwise. There may be a trembling. Anyways, since you mentioned Panza, I'm hungry. Let's go get some lunch. Do they not? How about the two towns of Sicily that have been ruined three times within 15 years of my eruptions of Mount Etna? And were they not warned? Does that column of smoke above Vesuvius mean nothing? That? That's always it. We use it as our weather guide. When the smoke stands up straight, we know we'll have fair weather. When it flattens out, it's sure to be foggy. When it drifts to the east... Oh, yes! I've heard of your mountain, the mountain. But the column of smoke is much larger than usual. They say... Oh, Nathan's lady, we suffer. Little help we got from them last time. Naples commits the crime and Pompeii pays the price. It's become very proverb with us. Let them mind their own business. Yes, and others too. Very, very well, well, my confident friends. We also have a problem. And it is this. Those who listen to men must be taught by the gods. They say no more, but I leave a last warning. people, only one understood the situation. Vesuvius could blow any minute. I warn you, Tita. Be careful of your whereabouts. But Zeus will protect you, I'm sure of that. What would happen if it really did erupt? The whole city would be destroyed. Go to the beach. If there are boats there, get on one and escape. These oblivious pedestrians need to have a second thought on the issue. How do you know all of this? Well, I moved here two years ago when my parents were killed in the most recent eruption of Mount Etna. I'm sorry to hear that. Where are your parents? I really don't know, but Zeus is the best master anybody could have. You must really love that dog. Yes, she's the best I've got. I would die for her and she would die for me. But who said anything about dying? <laughs>